Go walk! Sam, what did you say? <laughs> Colonel Sam? Hey, that's it. We'll get a couple buckets of chicken. Shh! <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah? Uh, my name is Ken Sanders, and I'm from... Paradise Acres, right? Yes, how did you know? I was standing downwind. <laughs> you know what? Uh, we would invite you to the Luau, but we already got one pig. <laughs> Damn, where Leon put the keys? Uh, I don't know. He probably took him with him. <laughs> Let's look on the floor. Maybe he's got another set. Uh, George, this is crazy. It might take two hours before we even find a Colonel Sanders. Great. <laughs> look at that watch. How many local people you and throw off their land for pay for that? <laughs> That's very funny, young man. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have work to do. Not here, bro. Not today. What makes you think you can stop us? Simple arithmetic. It's three of us and only two of you. That equals no way. Damn, no keys. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, son. There's three of us, too. Hey, Jefferson! George, who's that man? How should I know? Well, he called your name. He did? Man, what a lucky guess. Come on, we just walked to Colonel Sanders. George, that's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Let's run. Hey, George, wait. George, you know this guy? Of course he knows me. We're business partners, right, George? Well, um... Business partners? Yeah, in Paradise Acres. You're part of Paradise Acres? What's Paradise Acres? They're the people torn us off our land to build condominiums. Yeah, they're the ones gonna tear up this land and put big buildings, and they're no more feeling for the land or the people who live here a thousand years. Look, buddy, this land was here long before you and your ancestors discovered it. You don't own these islands. You're right, bro. But neither do you. The land belongs to no one and to everyone. Yeah, and the difference between you and us is we like save these islands, you like destroy them. Come on, let's face it, you can't stop progress. You think throwing people off their land is progress? Well... Progress should help people, not hurt them. Right. We've wasted enough time talking. Now, come on, George, let me show you where we're going to put the tennis courts. Look, Sanders, I didn't know that this project meant throwing people off their land. George, they'll find somewhere else to go. They always do. Yeah, but these people are my friends. Oh, come on, George, you can't let friendship get in the way of a business decision. Now, don't be a fool. Look, don't be calling me no fool, chump. All right, Rob. <laughs> Jefferson, you're forgetting that I'm the one who's going to make you rich. Oh, look, I am already rich, chump. Now you take your little project, stick it in your mouth, and start heading south. All right. Okay, Jefferson, but don't think you're going to stop this project. Paradise Acres will be built. Not by me, it won't. And if you don't get off of these people's land right now, I'm going to throw you off. Jefferson, you're a fool. Oh, hey, take it easy, bro. Take it easy. Damn, Holly! <laughs> oh, George, I'm so proud of you. You did the right thing. Yeah, for them, maybe, but not for me. What? Well, see, Weezy, just before we left New York, I went to the doctors to have my blood pressure checked. And the doctor said it was high. How high? Well, High enough for him to make me take this vacation. What? And you told me we came here because you love me. Yeah, well, I do love you, Weezy, but see, the doctor told me if I didn't take time off to relax, that I'd be dead soon. And being dead ain't nothing like being with you. <laughs> oh, thanks, George. I think. <laughs> and see, ever since I've been in Hawaii, I've been feeling great. That's why to keep our blood pressure down, we gotta move here. We gotta move here? George, I think you are overreacting. The hell I am. Hey, Doc. <laughs> yeah, George. Hey, tell her, Doc. If we move over here, my blood pressure will stay down, and we have a lot of years to live together. That's not right, George. Oh, it's OK, Doc. We married. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I meant was, living here won't keep your blood pressure down any more than living in New York will keep it up. Well, how come it's not as high here as it is back there? You know, probably because you left the stress and tension of your work behind you, George. Yeah, you move it over here, and you'll probably be the same. Oh, then where a person lives doesn't make any difference. That's right, George. Now, the only move you need to make is to your doctor's office for regular visits. Take it easy, follow his advice, you should be fine. Oh, you hear that, Weezy? We can live in New York. <laughs>